All right, Tone, um, I want to end the show by talking about a certain Jake Paul. Uh, some people like him, some people hate him. He's a bit Marmite. I think it's fair to say that you are uh, on the latter uh, when it comes to Jake Paul. I think, to be fair, look, me and you have spoken and you've credited him for getting in the ring, right? You know, anyone that can step through the squared circle, you've got to give him a bit of credit. He seemed to have a very good business acumen as well. But he did recently release a post when speaking or addressing Dana White. And one of the, the final points he raised was something about um, he's been carrying the sport of boxing for the yeah. past, sort of, I think it was 12 months or so. Uh, you responded and you wasn't happy as well. And you, your response shows that. Um, why did you respond, Tony? And what, what did you make of that statement that he's been carrying the sport of boxing? So, first of all, I've got no hate or malice towards Jake Paul. You crack on, do what you do, mate, it's great. But in no way, shape or form can you claim to carry my sport. You absolute f muppet. He hasn't even fought a boxer yet. <laughs> so how can you claim to be carrying me sport when you haven't fought someone who comes from my sport? It's unbelievable. So I... I I don't want to jump on the bandwagon and then everyone does and they slate them because I think it's great, you know. I think it's really good what he's... I don't like the fact that it's labelled as a boxing match because yeah. he's not facing a boxer. He, uh, no, but Tony wanted to. He wanted yeah, to he did want to. Fury. Yeah, he did, he did. And, and I don't know why that didn't happen. I'll be totally honest. Uh, I haven't got a clue because I didn't pay that much attention to him in the first place. <laughs> but at the end of the day, mate, he got in there with an MMA guy who he'd beaten already. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, Tyrone Woodley is just not a boxer. You know, if he really wants to face a boxer, I'll tell you someone who he could face. Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva is an MMA guy, so he's not a traditional boxer. But I'd give it that he's a boxer because Anderson Silva has beaten a boxer. And he hasn't just beaten any boxer. He's beaten the former world champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. The, the son, by the way, junior. I mean, yeah. so face someone like him. Uh, and then we can we can listen to your talk of that you're a boxer but until you face a boxer you can't state you're a boxer and the last thing you ever need to do is say you're carrying my sports what yeah. just, I think just it's been it. a great year so I mean it's the wrong year to even say this right 2021 yeah. was fantastic some big events all over the world so to okay, say you're carrying the sport of boxing when we've had arguably the best year in a lot of people's lives um, it's a bit silly I don't want to face him, I don't want to face him. I mean, I've spanked his trainer. You know, I'm the only guy to ever stop his trainer. I absolutely spanked him and dropped him about four or five times, or three or four times, I don't know. Yeah, I did. So he's never going to call my name. That's just ridiculous. And I wouldn't even entertain it if he did. So he wouldn't? Uh, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> just forget it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He'd stop it. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not Tony, but if the money was right, if he said, you know, uh, the kind of figures he uh, He wouldn't say my but name because he, he knows. Uh, uh, he, uh, he knows he wouldn't, mate. He, he wouldn't and he couldn't because I would take his chin off his face. It would last for the whole of a round. And the only reason he would be still there is because for the first half of the round, I'd be laughing at him. <laughs> and then I would get down to business. I, I'm not one of these fights who you play around with and you poke at an event or something like that. If he poked me on an event, I'm cracking him on sight. Simple. There's just no... You can't mess around. You, you can't mess around. People are disrespect. Like I've seen him. I think he disrespected Daniel Cormier. Yeah. And yeah. he's not a fool. You know what I mean? He's someone who's not to be played. I wouldn't want to mess around. And that was a UFC event as well. Yeah. Mate, I wouldn't want to mess around with Daniel Cormier. Fella like that gets old. You mate. He choked the life out of you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah I, I can't be antagonised like someone like that because I'll, I'll crack it on site don't think because I'm in this kind of world I'm not going to respond with what the only thing that I know uh, It's just it would just go down straight away so yeah he's not going to call me I'm not going to call him I just can't have him say things like that like he's carrying me sport because it's the last thing he's doing fight a boxer mate yeah, Please. fight a boxer indeed. Let's see what he does in 2022 because there's no doubt he's going to have a few more of these. What I don't know what you call them exhibition MMA slash exhibition. boxing things that he's going to be doing. But look, he has entertained a few thousand people. I think it's fair to say this year.